Hi, my name is Mr. Kloss, and today we're going to show you how you can write your own music using an online software program called NoteFlight. Um, if you look up at the top of the screen here, that's the website, www.noteflight.com. You have to create your own account. Um, there's a basic account, which is free, and then there's an upgrade, upgraded account that you can uh, purchase to have a little bit more options with creating music. But for this um, session, we're just going to go with the, the basic option. So I'm going to show you how you can create your own music that you can play and print off. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to creating a new score. And you can pick from different options, different instruments like piano, you can pick something in just treble clef, just bass clef, percussion, rock bands, um, string orchestra, etc. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select a jazz combo. So you click on that and it's going to be two horns and when you click OK, it's going to bring up your score. I you notice there's a lot going on on this website. You don't have to worry too much about all of these items just yet. Uh, we're just going to do the basics, um, just inputting a couple notes onto the actual score. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first, let's give our song a title. And uh, you can put your name where it says composer. And that's basically all you need for now. We can adjust and add things later. Um, but at this point, I just want to learn how to actually put a couple notes on the page. So what I was going to do is I'm going to click on the first measure, and you'll notice it highlights that measure. And um, if I drag the cursor, it kind of shows you where I can put my notes on the staff. Now, if you don't have too much um, musical knowledge at this point, uh, what's very cool is that the sound will actually play when you click on the note. So if you click on a pitch, um, it'll play it. Now, for the purpose of this video, since I don't have the upgraded version of Screencast, um, it won't play the note, so you can't hear it, but on your computer it will actually play the note. So all I did was clicked on um, one of the lines. In this case, that's a trumpet player's B. So I clicked on the B, and it put a quarter note there. Now, if I want it to be an eighth note, all you do is simply go up here and click eighth note, and you see that it changes. Now you can tab over um, with the right arrow to move to the next spot. And let's say I want to put another eighth note. I can go up to a D. Now I've got two notes, B, D. Now I might want to move to the next note and let's say I want to put a quarter note in there. I put an A. So now I've got B, D, A. And then I can go over and I can switch all this out. I can make quarter notes. I can put a rest there. Um, I can put a whole rest, half rest whatever I'd like to do, and that would actually complete my measure. But I don't want a half rest, I want to put an actual note. So then what I do is I click on an F, and it makes a an half note um, F right on the, on the measure. Now you can do this for, for all different types of measures, and there's playback options, um, there's transposing options, there's um, all different things that you can do with the program, and we can get into that more in a different video, but I just wanted to basically show you how you can actually put a couple notes onto the score for yourself um, and begin to create your own music. So what I would do is um, go to noteflight.com, um, create your quick account, and then just practice inputting notes and see what it sounds like when you... Um, uh, listen to it through the computer. What's very cool is that, that you can play back in different tempos. Um, if you click on this bar right here, it brings up all the different options that you can do. So if you go down to tempo, you can change the, the speed of the music. Um, you can make it play in different styles. You can do all different sorts of things. Um, and it's, it's a very cool and very easy program to learn once you have some experience with it. Um, and it's all online, which is great. So everything um, pretty much saves for you on your account online so you don't have to worry about actually having a software uh, program like Finale or Sibelius which you have to um, actually purchase and download on, a, on your computer. You can just um, go to noteflight.com, save your music, and then when you go over here it shows you all of your scores that you have which is pretty cool. So those are that's some music that I've written um, in the past. Um, and if you click on one of these um, you can kind of see what it looks like when you see a full page of music. Here's a, a tune for our jazz combo at Wheaton North that I've been writing out. And you can see this has uh, got a lot of things. It has electric bass, it has drum set written in. Um, if you scroll over, you can see all the different, all the different parts. Um, I've even put in chord changes. So it's very, um, very complex, but it can also be very simple if you're just looking for something uh, quick to do. Thank you very much.